Today I got to sit down and interview my husband, Ty Butchery, right-handed pitcher for the Los Angeles Angels. Watch it here on Behind the Lights. Today we have right-handed Los Angeles Angels pitcher Ty Butchery, aka my husband. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You probably didn't have much of a choice because if you said no, you would have been in trouble, but we're happy to have you here today. All right, Ty, we've been in quarantine. You're the only person I've seen for 30 days now. I don't even know what to say at this point. I feel like the days are just kind of running together. I mean, you and I have gotten down to a pretty good routine, I feel like, in terms of waking up you know, doing what we need to do, getting our schedules done, trying to stay safe, you know, trying to keep and practice social distancing as much as we can. Um, I feel really bad for you though, because I've at least been able to go to my gym and train and you've been stuck at the house. And I don't think this, I think today was the first day that you saw another human being. Yes, it was in 30 days. And I, almost didn't know how to act anymore. I felt like I was like losing my mind, like I was laughing at everything just because it was human <laughs> interaction again. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Oh, okay. Uh, best, part about, <laughs> best part about being quarantined with me? Um, well, you've been making an unbelievable amount of food when, wherever I want it. Uh, dinners have been probably the best dinners you've ever made. I think you've had... <laughs> you have bored. Yeah, you have a little bit more time maybe to prepare, look at some good recipes. Um, best time about it is you and I have so much going on during the season. And with starting behind the lights, you know, the traveling, you know, being on the West Coast, being in different areas, I feel like our marriage is just like, it, sometimes you don't really realize that things just, you get caught up with doing so much stuff. And so I've noticed that, you know, these 30 days that we've been able to spend together, like, you know, we've been able to do a lot of things just as husband and wife that I think we've been putting off for a while, for a while and just working on, working on everything, working on bettering ourselves in our marriage, you know, physically, mentally, all the things that, I mean. Gets pushed to a side yeah, this season. Yeah, exactly. Even this, like literally the season, like spring, you haven't even experienced without having a full season. What's it been like? just being able to go home, being here, being quarantined, but not playing ball? That's a, that's a really good question. And I think, I think it's changing. Like every week, my mindset is changing a little bit. You know, when this first, when this first happened, I thought we were all, I thought this was more of a joke. I thought, hey, you know, we'll be back into the season here in two weeks. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep throwing bullpens three times a week. I need to stay, I need to face hitters. Then, you know, as this has gone on, people have gotten a little bit more, you know, it's getting serious. I mean. There's a lot of people that are suffering from this, the economy, um, people's health. It's just, it's terrible to see. And so I had to kind of take a step back and really start taking this more serious. You took this thing very serious from the start. You think so? So you didn't take social oh, distancing yeah, 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 yeah. as serious, I, but yeah, like you I did thought take the this. world was like ending. Like, let's talk about that. Like. We were still in spring training. We yeah. had two roommates. You're right. Okay. And I did skip the over that part. minute this even like was mentioned, yeah, you went and okay, yeah, you're blew right. a whole paycheck on food. And yeah. every day we would go to the store because you thought it wasn't enough. And then we ended up just donating the food because we didn't mm. even stay in Arizona. And we had like cans and like, I mean, it, it was like the world was really ending. Okay. You're right. Let's... <laughs> Okay, that was the initial reaction. I did. I will say, I definitely bought into the hype to the maximum. You kind of liked it, is the weird part. I did like, kind of like, like it. Like, it's like, like survival of the fittest. Like, let's well, go. you watch that like Doomsday Survivor and Doomsday Prepper yeah, that's show. You. And like, you almost think you're like, oh my gosh, this is that moment. But like, once, <laughs> once the world wasn't matching my enthusiasm—not enthusiasm, but seriousness about this—and I was like, wow, maybe I am overreacting. Hmm. Now everyone's acting how I was a month ago, and now I'm the guy that's like, oh wait, like wait, now this is serious again. So it's like I don't, I don't know where I'm, I don't know where my head's at. I, I was very serious, then I didn't take it serious. Now I'm a little bit more serious. 
probably go back to not being serious. You're a little bit all over the map. I'm all over the map, you don't yeah. You know what to do. Yeah. Okay, but let's talk about the most important thing that you thought that you, like, were not going to be convinced otherwise while we were still in Arizona. What did you do about the roommates? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, we made a... What uh, was so important to you? Like, you were not going to bed until we did this. Like, oh, it was the very first day it was announced, and you're thank like... Thank you for bringing that up, because that's actually important. I want the world to know what I did that night. Um, <laughs> so, we... I was hyping this thing up. I was like, guys, listen. This is like... There's going to be no food left in the grocery store here in five days. Like, we got to go right now. You guys are stupid for not it going out. It didn't save a minute. You guys, like... You guys aren't taking this serious. I'm like... We need to have, I think I had maybe a couple white claws in my system, so I was kind of, you know, I was, I was jazzed up a little bit. And so... You didn't drive, though, don't I think Yeah, I didn't drive. We stayed in the house. We were very safe. But um, you were panicking that I was we weren't panicking. able to go to the store that and, night well, because I was, you had white claw. I was panicking because you guys weren't taking it serious. So what we did is we made a uh, command list, a com an order that if the world chaos broke out, you know, let's say... World War Three started and who knows what would have happened. I didn't know. I wanted to have a chain of command of uh, us four that would have been potentially stuck in this house. And I did. I created a little paper plate. Literally. Right? Yeah. We voted on who thought would be the best person to run our four group of... Clan. Yeah, our little clan we had. Um, we titled it... The name of the tribe was something with the address of the house and all of our letters all of our letters yeah like abbreviations like a little kid club jamie was the general he was in charge of like okay if you know he's like very outdoorsy shooting the animals yeah like he, he was hunting. gonna be yeah zach was the thinker he was the engineer guy um you would have been you would have been kind of facilitating originally was i was titled the cook the cook <laughs> that's i can't and then i that's upgraded sexist. i did not say that but then i upgraded to like um, I don't even know. Yeah, like, no, we definitely are. Like, we, no, know. no, you were not stuck in the kitchen. That is, that is sexist. That didn't Rationing. No, I was like the head of rationing. You were, you Because were, you guys eat so much that I had to tell you, like, you're eating all of our stuff. Okay, well, obviously I'm anyway, not getting away with... What were you? Um, so I was, uh, I was president. I, uh... <laughs> he was, named himself the president, too. It was voted on. It was voted on. Uh, Jamie... <laughs> Yes, Jamie. it was, and I did not vote for it. Jamie, my uh, second in command, said that Ty, he thinks that, we He's all voted leader. that I didn't have a lot of, of all the titles, I kind of like to dabble in each one of them. You were a leader. But I could also give, like, when there's a decision to be made, I definitely felt like I was the most confident to definitely. pull and be like, listen guys, the group has to, we got to migrate, we got to get out of this house. Like. President, I, I didn't like the word president. Um, because you're so humble. I, I think I think decision making, just final, ju uh, the judge. I I like the judge better. Okay, I'm done with this whole guy. I can't handle it anymore. Like I said, I hyped this up pretty good. Like I was I was taking this very seriously. But we really had it written down on paper. Like yeah, and like I was like, like I'm going to bed, and he was like, No, 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 we can't go to bed until we figure out these rules. Who knows? Hey, I know I'm safe. Yeah, you are safe. Got it I promise you that. Out. Yeah, promise you that. You can say. You got the president with you. You good? I have the president of the United States. President of chapter uh, T, of J, Clan G, T. and S. All of our first names. It's literally letters. like a little kids club, like what you used to do back in the day, and as creative as you got, but just using your first initial. Pretty much, yeah. So one thing that you've picked up during this quarantine time is the angels asked you to be the representative mm -hmm. somehow for MLB the show. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me all about this great experience. Oh man, definitely wasn't a big time show player. Um, I played it in the past a little bit. Um, I didn't even have, I had a PS4 before. Um, I actually had to go out and get the, I wanted to get the PS4 Pro, which is the nicest one. I thought it would help my gaming. Um, I, wanted, I wanted the best definition, sharpness, everything. I wanted to see the ball as it's coming in. Like I, I wanted it to light up. Your world. Like a, watermelon as that thing's coming out and that's that was my that was my take like i want to see everything i want the P, the best ps4 okay so anyways uh an angels rep um adam chosko reached out to me and was like hey ty you know we're doing this tournament um heard you know i know you're a gamer would you be interested you would have to be streaming and using twitch or youtube um and broadcasting yourself to the public um and you know i 
thought about it and I was like, man, like I'm not great at MLB The Show. I definitely don't care about getting out there and streaming and stuff. That was no problem for me. Um, but like, I just basically rolled with it. I wanted to see, I wanted to see how it went. It was an exciting opportunity. It was the first time I've ever done something like this and you were asked out of the whole team. I mean, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was definitely really, it was exciting. It was cool. I mean, uh, Noe Ramirez and Michael Hermosillo got to get a sh shout out to those guys because Noe's really good. Um, Could have, you know, if there's a if there's a round two next year, uh, Hermosillo I heard is like ungodly at this game. So shout out to those guys. I'm sorry that Angel Nation is not being represented by the best candidate, but I can promise you guys I'm going to make it fun. It's going to be engaging with the fans, and I am getting better. I'm getting a lot better. I'm proud of you. You've been putting in work. Have to. I mean, when you start one and three, and <laughs> you're going against Gallo, who has beaten everybody by 30 runs pretty much, and he's hitting home runs, and Reese Hoskins, who's probably going to do something similar. I mean, I don't want to go 0-4. I, I, I need to win. Like, I need to win this thing. But the good news is, is that you're not 0-4, but... I mean, Stanek is, but you get to play him tonight. So. Yeah, so I'm hoping, you know, I can go against, I guess, some Ws at the, you know, the 0-4s, the 1-3s, and 3s, the 2-for-2 two two guys. I, I'm hoping I can squeak out a W, get some squeak? time. Yeah, squeak out a W, squeak I've out a win. Heard squeak. Yeah, squeak out a win. It's when you, like, uh, <laughs> it's a close game. Like, the guys that beat me, they squeaked out a win because they barely beat me. Okay, I like that. But the number one thing that I'm most proud about of you is that when you give something, you give it your all to the extreme of you were so upset that you were one and three. Not upset, but I was upset. I didn't sleep. You were very upset, good. and <laughs> I didn't sleep very good at all. You didn't want to settle. You wanted it to be better than that. So yeah. we spent probably three hours reaching out mm -hmm. to a bunch of professional gamers. Yep. To try and train you. Best decision I probably ever made in my whole life. Really? Yeah. In your whole life? In my whole life. Even Besides more me. than marrying me. Uh, that, okay, second best decision. <laughs> You're the first yeah. best. I'm right there. But, so you did. And it, what's his name, McGunsky? Ryan Wilcox uh, goes by the gamer tag uh, McGunsky. The guy is unbelievable. He is the Mike Trout of MLB The Show, PlayStation. He's, he beat me 18 to nothing and three innings. And I think he was taking it easy on me. But also, you know what? A yeah. for effort with you. I mean, you really do go the extra mile. So. He gave me some really good tips. We spent like two hours talking. We did a little live stream with the fans. Um, he wants me to come back on the channel and play a five-inning uh, scrimmage against them. And he happens to be what? And he happens to be a diehard Angels fan. That worked out. Yeah, really cool. Hopefully we'll see him this Really season. good guy. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ty slash Babe, for coming on the show today. Uh, for those that want to keep up with you, where can they find you? Um, yeah, you guys can find me at, um, at Ty Buttry on Instagram. I don't do Twitter, don't do Facebook. Um, but honestly, just you guys will find me on Sam's channel. Um, I'll be on there and I'll be streaming. So come out and support and support Behind the Lights. All right, well, thanks for the plug. And you heard it here first. Thanks for watching. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. What's going on, guys? We have pitcher. Well, do I announce what he is? What's going on, guys? We have Los Angeles right-handed pitcher Ty Buttry, aka my husband, here with us today. So, Ty, we're gonna Sorry. talk.